Yes, my people, them. It's your boy, Paul Kadar. Today, I'm going to discuss about mindfulness. Before we even get into this, I just want, I want everyone to know that I'm here for you guys. I might not be the perfect leader. A lot of people look at my videos and they're like, how can this type of person give me advice when they need the advice themselves? Exactly why I make these videos. I make these videos to improve myself and to also inspire others to improve themselves as well. So today, I'm just going to quickly give you guys a definition of what mindfulness is. Mindfulness is the quality or state of being conscious or aware of something. Mindfulness is the quality or state of being conscious. So using your mind. So it's the quality or state of being conscious. So you're aware of what's happening or aware of something happening. <laughs> I feel like I, I didn't really, I didn't say that properly. I got this definition from Google. So mindfulness is literally just being aware of something, being in that present moment. Me right now, I just finished a 10 minute meditation using the Medito app on the app store. And I'm 100% more aware now after meditating than I was before I meditated. Before I meditated, I was so stressed. I was like, not stressed, but I was like agitated. I was like, I couldn't just be at rest. I couldn't just be at peace with myself. But now I'm a bit more like, as you can tell, I'm more peaceful. I'm calm. I have a lot of energy, but I'm preserving it. I'm very in control of my actions and my speech. Mindfulness is very important. <clears throat> we, we all know that. Bro, I'm talking like a fucking retard today. <laughs> we all know that mindfulness is important. I mean, why would you not want your mind to be at its fullness, at its highest, at its best? When you're speaking to someone, someone important, why would you, why would you not want your, your mind to just be able to process anything they tell you? All the actions, their body, their body language, their mannerisms. To be able to execute the perfect response. Why would you not want to be mindful? And the answer is today, today's generation. Today's generation with technology and the ease of access towards pleasurable things, it makes it very difficult to be very mindful or to even want to just take some time aside to just meditate and just be mindful and present in the moment. So quickly, I'm just gonna say the benefits of mindfulness. And then just give a quick, uh, like, just break it down for you quickly. Just give my quick overview on, on the, the benefits and also the negatives that you can eliminate as well. So the first benefit is stress reduction. If you meditate, you're eliminating stress. You're, you're literally thinking about the things that are causing you the stress. But then bringing yourself back to reality by breathing, make, making you're almost like you're fighting your mind. You're literally telling your mind this, this thing I'm stressing about, this thing I'm thinking about. It's not as relevant as I make it seem in my mind. Breathing is more important than stressing about something or worrying about something in your mind. And it reduces stress if you meditate. The negative would also like the negative of like stress reduction would be 
overthinking. A lot of us, we, we overthink so much. And I know this for a fact. My family, my family, uh, my family, <laughs> I'm speaking like a re... <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> my family overthink, I overthink, my neighbours overthink, strangers overthink, people working, they overthink. You can tell, you can see it, it happens every single day. And literally just meditating can get rid of that, that overthinking, that overthinking mind. Uh, the next thing on my list is to decrease anxiety. Mindfulness can decrease anxiety. So like I said this morning, I was feeling a bit agitated. Like I was feeling like really um, just like roughed up. Just thinking about all the the bad things that happened to me this month obviously they're not relevant but i was thinking about these things and after meditating i just realized that all these things i'm thinking about are not relevant they're not they're not even i don't even need to waste my time thinking about them literally the easiest way to just get rid of them is just doing what i need to do to get rid of them These are like most of the things we overthink about. They're usually something that's about to happen or something that's happened in the past. It will ne you will never stress about something that's happening right now in this moment. Never say never. Something bad might happen in this particular moment. But nine times out of ten, we never stress or worry about things that happen in this moment. So obviously, by, by being mindful, we can decrease anxiety. And the negative of this would be a lack of confidence. Because clearly, if you're confident in yourself, you wouldn't be anxious. You'd know what to do to, to get rid of those problems, those worries. So you'd be confident. No matter what happens, no matter the trials or tribulations, you're always, you're always calm, relaxed. You can't be anxious. You're confident. The next thing on my list is to improve your focus. Mindfulness improves your focus. The fact that I even have the focus to even speak on a camera. I can't lie. I'm trying to improve my, my social skills. And... I'm someone that's very stiff, like I can't dance for shit. I'm like a very, I've always been a very stiff person. And I know the reason why a lot of people hate me for, and I also hate saying certain things like this. I hate blaming or accusing or shaming or criticizing other people, but it's because of my childhood trauma. That's the, the main reason. <laughs> that I like, I face most of these problems. But the only way to eliminate these problems that I've had in the past is through mindfulness, being, meditating, staying in the moment, being healthy, exercising regularly, um, having more hobbies, going out with friends, spending time with friends doing stuff you love doing, staying on your purpose, staying on your grind, keeping it attractive because that keeps you happy. Um, mindfulness improves your focus. So essentially the negatives of this would be being agitated or like being very fidgety, like having a lack of self-control. You can't even like, you can't even rethink or you can't even like reprogram your mind to to avoid doing stuff that you don't want to do or like that would not benefit you. So if you're very focused, if your phone rings while you're in some deep work, you're not going to pick it up because you're you're focused, you're you're in deep focus. If LeBron James or like Michael Michael Jordan, if he if he's playing a, a basketball game, 
just because his phone's ringing, he's not going to like go to his bag and pick up the phone. Or just because a fan is like calling his name, he's not going to look at them. He's going to stay focused in the game because literally one, two, three seconds of like that loss of focus, that could lose them the game. Or even I could use uh, for the, for women, if you're a woman, if you're if you're looking at models, when they're walking through that that path that that red carpet or whatever, they're focused. They're focused on how they're walking, their body language, their face, how their ex facial uh, expressions, making sure that the 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 clothes can be seen clearly. If they if they lose focus, they could trip over especially if they're wearing high heels being focused is very important and the last thing on my list is relationships if you're mindful your relationships will improve because you can listen to that person acknowledge what they're saying people love to feel appreciated people love subconsciously everyone loves to be or feel com uh, appreciated or concerned about people just love it people love attention especially women <laughs> let me not be misogynistic but everyone loves attention everyone loves attention and if you improve your mindfulness your relationships start to improve your social skills start to improve because you're more in the present moment you're more focused you have less anxiety you're more confident in yourself there's a there's a reduced amount of stress. You're not overthinking. You're just thinking about what this person is saying to you or what you're about to say or what you're about to do or what they're about to do. You're focused. You're in that moment. You're in that present moment. And obviously the negatives to relationships would be arguments. Literally arguments are the easiest way for someone to hate you or to not like you in that present moment. And have you noticed, it doesn't matter who wins the argument, you both always lose the argument because in that time it took to argue with that person, you could have just understood what they, they were saying. You could have just agreed, agreed to disagree. You could have put your feet in their shoes to understand why they're saying what they're saying and then gave your response your own viewpoint or even for for argument's sake just not even argue with them let them believe what they believe let them win that argument let them feel good if anything in return they will do what you want them to do for you if you come with a business proposition, you can't walk into the manager's office, argue with him and expect him to to give you the proposal you, you wish to, to get. But if you go in there outlining all his issues, focused on all his wants, preventing argument, listening to what he's saying, that guy will love you. He will literally give you more than what you wanted in the first place. Anyway, this ain't no lecture. You either take the advice or you don't. I either take the advice or I don't. I, re I really hope like everyone can just be more mindful and stay more in the present moment because it will benefit you a lot in anything you do, literally any single thing you do. If you could just practice being mindful People will like being around you. You will you will finish your your work more more like progressively. You will feel fulfilled doing anything you do. Brushing your teeth, you'll be more mindful. Probably brush your teeth better. Probably scrub your tongue better as well. You probably remember to take your vitamins every day. Probably remember that you need to eat healthy or to exercise. Probably remember to do more things. Probably remember to pay bills that you've forgotten about. If, you, if you're just a little bit more mindful every single day, 
if you just try to meditate every single day for a couple minutes that will go that will take you a long way it's been your boy Paul Kadar. Hope everyone has a fruitful day. And we out.